Good morning, YouTube pipe community. Whiteford Pipes here, Michael. See, uh, we got some nasty weather last night. Thought I'd take you on my morning walk. I'm just going down the stairs here. We got freezing rain. Combination of snow, freezing rain, and uh, you see how pretty the trees are. Oh, I thought I'd take you. This is how deep we got the snow here. Thought I'd take you for a bit of a walk around the neighborhood. Oh yeah, we got quite a bit. Quite a bit. Well, I was woke up around 3 in the morning and I heard a funny sound. And it was the um, freezing rain hitting the, up against the windows. Yeah, the trees are really pretty. But see, this is a problem when everything has a... Uh-oh, looks like the bus is stuck over there. <laughs> yep, the bus is stuck. <laughs> um, oh yeah, this is slippery mess. And what happens when the freezing rain gathers on stuff then it puts such a weight on it and uh, so there you have all the weight on the, the trees there see the buds came out on them already this definitely can't be good for them we had that hit of uh, we got hit with that warm weather that one day when it was 40 degrees warmer than it should have been so that really, uh, boy, it's tough walk and slippery. So, that I'll just show you around a bit. I need to get out for my morning walk. It's not that cold, that's the problem. It's hanging right around, I think it's minus one right now, but it's hanging right around zero. Yeah, that bus is stuck. Yeah, I gotta tow it. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll go watch that. Something you don't see every day. <laughs> I'll take a different road on my walk. Yeah, they've canceled for the Niagara region. They've canceled all the... Uh, schools and the buses and they did have the transit canceled for a while but it looks like it's moving <laughs> uh, not this particular one <laughs> um, yeah Brock University's closed uh, I think Niagara College campuses are closed oh I think Brock's only closed till 10 this morning but Looks like they're gonna try to uh, pull it out. <laughs> Sorry, not in service. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I guess they were in service till they got stuck. <laughs> I'm gonna do a walk around the pond here. Oh yeah, look at the road. Just ice, 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 ice. Not good. Shuffling my feet across so I don't fall. 
Well, that's what happened with the bus. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of accidents all around this morning. See my tracks on the road there where I shuffled across. <laughs> Yeah, she must have slid. She must have slid right off the embankment there. Well, I guess they're not going to bother with it right now. No matter. Well, there's lots of seagull activity over at the uh, pond here. Oh yeah, what I was saying about the Stuff getting, uh, I get sidetracked. When stuff gets a coating of the ice on it like that, um, it weights everything down, and then uh, if you get a wind, then the trees start coming down and the power lines and everything else. So uh, hopefully there won't be any of that. Don't need that, that's for sure. bunch of seagulls here eating the dead fish from the pond here there's a carp in here and a catfish and I'm not sure all what's in there actually but as you can see the seagulls are eating the livers out of the eating the livers out of the dead fish the carp <laughs> of course that's what they'll go for most often uh, Birds go for fish, especially the blue herring and stuff like that. Or the cranes, the first thing they go for is the liver, which I guess makes sense. Uh oh, we got some flooding up here. Seagulls aren't happy with my presence. <laughs> well, there's a couple mallards back. battery power is. But actually it's not too bad of a day. definitely aren't happy with me. <laughs> well, where did those ducks go? I could have swore I seen a couple mallards. Maybe they flew off and I didn't see them or uh, they're under the water, one or the other. Yeah, I just think we had, just a couple days ago, it was 64 degrees. <laughs> it was 40 degrees warmer than what it should have been. And now today we've got this. <laughs> but they said it was coming, and really we, uh, we haven't, uh, had that bad of a winter I mean it's been long and cold but and we've had lots of snow but I mean that's how things used to be when I was a kid and that in the 70s you know everyone had a snowmobile and stuff and 
and then it just kept getting warmer and warmer and we wouldn't get any snow and then Great Lake Erie wouldn't freeze and uh, yeah it was uh, yeah this snow is yeah, fairly deep here Let's see I think you can see anyway Pipe needs tamping. Guess I'll <laughs> use my finger. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do my regular walk this morning because it's kind of hard walking in this stuff. I don't want to make the video super long. It's already 11 minutes. Anyway, just thought I'd uh, show you what kind of surprise we got overnight. But the problem being is a lot of people, especially immigrants and that, they're not used to this weather. They come here and uh, everyone drives so damn fast nowadays. Everyone's in such a friggin' hurry to go nowhere. And then, uh, you know, accidents happen and people get killed constantly. Darn shame. If they just slow down, you know. But, uh. Very pretty. This, this, if the sun came out later, that's when it really looks beautiful because all the, all the, um, sun rays hitting the ice in the trees and stuff, it's just, uh, looks, uh, spectacular if you've never seen it. Well, maybe the sun will come out later and I'll try to do a video of it. Seagulls finally. Oh, looks like this might be help for the bus. Maybe. I don't know. A dump truck thingy just pulled in. No, I guess not. Oh, maybe. Don't worry, Seagull. I'm not going to steal your dinner. <laughs> not too appetizing for me. Maybe this is going to be the tow for the bus. No, I think that's who plows our driveway at Chippewa Towers where I live, which is in that building right over there. Got a guy directing traffic. Oh, he is maybe going to... No. Oh yeah, no. See, people are reluctant to help this day and age because of insurance bull crap, eh? You know, if they uh, go and tow someone and then something happens, they're afraid they're going to get sued. So uh, that's really uh, put a damper on people uh, being good Samaritans. <laughs> Darn shame, eh? I'm not saying that's what it is, but nine times out of ten, that's people don't want to uh, help you out because they're afraid that uh, you know if something happens in the process then uh, they'll get sued <laughs> mm. 
I don't like putting salt down. Try to get across this road myself. Twenty percent battery. Well, I guess uh, I'll say goodbye to everyone. Take care for now. <laughs> Whiteford Handmade Pipes, everyone have a good day, stay warm. Can't turn it off. Come on. 